Um, London is one of my favorite places uh, on earth. I know it sounds like a sound bite, but it's true. Um, I've, yeah, I've got a lot of friends who I went to high school with here, and um, I always just enjoy coming and catching up with them. It's wonderful to be here with all of this. this is like, the energy here is incredible. Very proud to be involved in the Pixar film. I was a huge, I'm a huge Pixar fan, and um, yeah, and just to be here to celebrate everyone being able to go to cinemas again is huge. It definitely was, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've watched every Pixar film from, from Toy Story on. I, I've got two kids, and I also watch Pixar films by myself. Um, sometimes I prefer it. But um, yeah, they're always emotional, they're, um, you know, they're, they're inspiring, and as a grown man, it's kind of, for me, perfect filmmaking. Well, the best message from this one is, I mean, there are two messages. One is that, you know, you don't have to let your mistakes define you. You can, you know, you can move on from them. And uh, the other message is, sure, there may be things out there that you, you know, that, that you think might be better than, than what you've got right now. But sometimes you just look around you, everything you need is right in front of you. Well, Chris, he's, it, the, the traits that Chris display are very similar to Buzz. You know, he's someone that I feel like, you know, I mean, he can carry a movie. You know, he's a leading man. He's, uh, He's trustworthy, he's loyal, um, and in a lot of ways he's a perfectionist. You know, he wants to do a good job, and I feel like when you see a movie that Chris is in, you feel like you're in good hands. So Mo Morrison is the character I play. Um, he's more, he's, he's very much the antithesis to Buzz. So he's the one that uh, is very clumsy, you know, he tries hard, he has the best intentions, but Despite that, often uh, whatever he tries to do ends up um, creating more difficulties.